Hello and thank you for watching this training tutorial on how to edit a check-in date for a housing facility. Let's take a look at how to edit the check-in date from the housing workspace. First, I'll click on my workspace button to navigate to my housing workspace. Next, I'll select the facility where I know the client is checked in. From this facility view, I can see a list of residents here in the top corner, and I can hover over the resident to see their check-in dates. I can right-click and choose Check-in from here to edit this check-in. Perhaps I need to change this date. I'll make sure that the rest of the required fields have been entered, and then click Save. You can also edit a check-in from the current residence page. In the menu on the left, under the Housing tab, we'll click Current Residence. Here is Thomas's check-in, and it is important to note that I will need to select a room here to edit and save this page. So I will select the room that I know he has already checked into. From here, I can easily click on the calendar to change the dates. And perhaps I want to remove this checkout date. The system automatically populated the checkout date because he had a bed reservation. But if we know that Thomas will be staying here indefinitely, we can remove that checkout date. Then click Save. I can also choose the action arrow next to this check-in and do Edit Check-in for a more detailed look at the check-in record. If I need to make any other changes on this page, I can. Of course, click Save to save any changes, and then confirm that you can see them here and in the facility view if you've made any changes to rooms or units. And that will conclude our tutorial on editing check-in dates. Thank you for watching and for doing your part to help us end homelessness in Dallas and Collin counties.